If you listen to Cincinnati radio, you may have heard ads for a big steak sale in the parking lot of some local malls. So can you really get a good steak for just a few bucks in a parking lot? Consumer reporter John Matteris puts them to the test. Everyone loves a good steak, but steak can be expensive. So what about a $2 steak being sold outside some local malls? You may have heard the radio ads for parking lot steaks, 20 ribeyes for just $40 in this tent at the Tri-County Mall. We wanted to find out what kind of steak you get for two bucks, but we were pitched a lot more than just a $40 box. As the salesman tried to sell us $200 worth of steaks. In the end, I bought just the $40 box of ribeyes, then showed it to some mall customers. This doesn't look like a steak that I'd eat, honestly. Jennifer Wright and Shauna Parks were not very impressed. No, it looks like a hamburger patty. But are they any good? Well, we decided there's no better way to find out than go to a good local steak and burger place and have them grill one up. Here at the Urban Grill in Newtown, we compared our parking lot ribeye with a $10 supermarket ribeye from Kroger. Chef Rob Nugent found the parking lot steak really small, really thin. Rob tossed both on the flame where our thin parking lot steak was dwarfed. It cooked to medium in just a couple of minutes. Really fast. The grocery store ribeye took another five minutes. Out in the dining room, and here we go. I put on my napkin, removed my face mask, and dug in. Tastes like meat. It was a bit gristly, but edible, but the grocery store ribeye was juicy, tender, and tasty. That's a steak. We found a number of Better Business Bureau complaints about the Mississippi-based sellers, one saying poor quality, another saying not sure what kind of meat they are. But the label says it is indeed beef with a 15% tenderizing solution added. As Julia Child would say, bon appetit. Now, some reviewers say these steaks are good for cheesesteak sandwiches or stir fry. That way you don't look at them too closely and you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, WCPO 9 News.